I've been obsessively saving all of our toilet paper and paper towel rolls to stuff with lint as like our dryer lint as amazing fire starters. So we're gonna go make a start up a fire right now. They are so successful. So all you do is arrange them and start the fire on the lint and then the cardboard will catch and you start piling your little sticks on the on top of this. Hopefully I can find dry wood. Should be dry. We stored it all under the deck to protect it from the rain. So I'm gonna start with the tiny twigs first. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, it was over there. There's two little chickadees feeding on the feeder right now. Oh my goodness. They're so beautiful. Where are they? Same thing, let's do it again. Having fun, sitting by the fire, talking about what we're going to do with those raised beds come spring we need to empty them out and make sure that we can seal the bottom again with this paper mama garden it three Maybe times like that. i've been i've got his third arrow. arrow the Th three arrows are up there um no no oh good i've been i've been so yeah, it's time to redo the raised beds in the spring and dreaming about where we're gonna build our chicken coop. And we'll definitely do a video on how we design it and shop for it and build it and then buy the chickens and raise the chickens and all that good stuff. It'll be fun to do a video on that. Our goal is to make the chicken coop and buy the chickens and all the supplies for 150 or less that's the goal I think you can make the coop and buy the chicks um, for about a hundred but we'll see this is new for us so we'll be learning as we go you can learn with us we're welcoming any advice for any of you already chicken owners <laughs> 